And so our story begins. The kingdom is on the verge of revolution. But who will be the hero to lead the rebellion? Kingdom is doomed. Of course, the princess. It is time you saw what your kingdom is truly like. of industry has come to Albion. Though some call it the age of oppression. When freedom is nothing but a dream, it's time to make a stand. To lead a rebellion. To be a hero. Welcome to the city of the downtrodden. Where those who dare to speak out are punished. And those who dare to hope find nothing to hope for. against all odds. True rebels never give up. Yet they cannot triumph alone. The uprising has begun. But who will lead the revolution? What a dreadfully sorry sight. Mm. Such a beautiful day to waste in bed, don't you agree? Oh, what? Go away, Jasper. Now, that is hardly the response of a princess. I'm afraid it is time to rise. With your permission, I shall wake your sleeping companion. Ah, yes, one's heart soars before such regal bearing.
I trust you both slept well. You have a busy day ahead. Come on, boy. If I have to get up, so do you. It's not going to work. Don't look at me like that. Oh, very well. Good dog. What a pair. The kingdom is doomed. Now, madam, if you will follow me, perhaps we can find some appropriate clothing for today's activities. Master Elliot is most eager to speak to you this morning and is waiting for you in the garden. No doubt you will wish to look your best for your young friend. I have taken the liberty of arranging two suitable outfits, if you would care to choose. Master Elliot is a charming boy, but perhaps wearing pyjamas to meet him will send the wrong message? It may not be the most ornate outfit, but that doesn't indicate a lack of quality. I only select the best. Ah, splendid choice. I'm sure Master Elliot will approve. Perhaps you ought to make your way to him now. And I would recommend avoiding your brother today. King Logan is rumoured to be in an ill temper. Have a good day, madam. Will do. Bye, Jasper. My princess. Princess. Attention. Hello, princess. Oh, how are you, my princess? You were looking well today, my lady. My lady. Oh, fierce warrior! Are you here to join my army? Good. We shall face all our enemies together, won't we? Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Then the kingdom is safe. Oh, our fair princess. Your two brave knights will protect you with their lives. <laughs> I can look after myself, you know. Really? I'm afraid I'll need some proof. Perhaps you can give me a demonstration of your abilities? <laughs> How's that? That's... <laughs> I'd have to say that's quite satisfactory. I thought you'd never get up. Did Jasper tell you I wanted to speak to you? Yes. Did something happen? I'm not sure, but everyone in the castle seems to be upset with your brother, more than usual. And it's even worse down in the city.
You hear such terrible stories. Listen, they say a factory worker was executed this morning. I'm sure it's only a rumor, but you can imagine how people are talking. The staff in the castle are anxious. I told them you'd speak to them. Will you do that? I'm afraid of what might happen if someone doesn't calm things down. If you think it will help. I do. They may fear the king, but they still care for their princess. So, my good princess, may I take your hand and escort you to the castle? Good. Now let's go. I can't believe your brother could have had a worker executed. But sometimes I think, well, that there's something wrong with him. He's changed so much. And he looks so tired all the time. Can I be of service, my lady? How do you do? Ah, oh, you're so lucky. Having a statue of your brother right outside your window. It must give you nightmares. Come on, let's go. Nasty business down the industrial. <laughs> well, I heard all he did was stand up for one of the kids working in the factory. Who knows where it ends? Next thing you know, it's one of us that's... Quit your gossiping now, and straighten those clothes. Welcome, your majesty. It's such an honor to have you here today. The staff are convened to hear your words. Whenever you're ready. You've all been through some difficult times, and the king has been too preoccupied to treat you as he should. But I ask you all to ignore any wild rumours you hear. I promise to speak with my brother about improving conditions for both you and your families outside the castle. Thank you. You call that a royal speech? You didn't shout, you didn't threaten, and you were far too reasonable. <laughs> It was bloody marvelous. Right then, ready for today's training? Take good care of her, Walter. I suppose you've heard the rumors then. Well, I'm afraid they're quite true. Who knows what your brother will do next? In the meantime, the mood in the castle is getting more uneasy by the day. I think you have a knack for reaching out to people. They all looked up to you back there, the way they look up to a leader. Princess? My princess! My princess! A lot of people to see your brother today. Poor sods. Sir Walter! What a stroke of luck! Would you be so kind as to sign my petition? We must fight to eradicate poverty in Albion. Too many suffer on our streets, and the king does nothing. He must be made to care. Oh, very well, but I'm just an old soldier. I doubt my name would mean anything. But, perhaps the princess here would care to help you out. Oh, th that would be wonderful, your majesty. Well, it would be the greatest honor. I'd be happy to sign. Thank you, my princess. Your support will make all the difference. I'm certain of it. Why should we pay for Logan's bad temper? I can't believe what's happened to this guy. That was a courageous move. I doubt it will make much of a difference, but perhaps your brother will finally realize that you have a mind of your own. Let's see you put it to good use in the combat room. Come on! You have made good progress these past few weeks. But today isn't about practice. I want you to fight me, as if your life depended on it. One day, the people of Albion are going to need you. I have to find out just how ready you are. All right. Grab a sword.
Fight! That's it! Do you remember the stories I tell you when you were a child? Of your mother, the great hero queen. You'd never get tired of hearing those stories. And after each one, do you remember what you would say? Teach me how to be a hero. <laughs> Every single time. I wish that was something an old soldier like me could teach you. But I've done my best. Now I need you to do your best. Strike me! What are you afraid of? Hit me! Don't think of me as Walter. Think of me as an enemy. Strike! Ha-ha! <laughs> you only went and broke it. Look at that. Am I a great teacher or what? <laughs> but listen. There's something... Walter! You have to come quickly, both of you. What's happened? Outside the castle. It looks like a demonstration. This is not good. They're right inside the castle grounds. I've never seen so many people out there. Balls. I should have known this would happen. I don't think they realize what your brother is capable of. This isn't going to end well. Keep Albion free! We want it's been a long time since Logan listened to me, but I should find him. Stay here. There's still something we need to talk about. I have a horrible feeling about this. We can't just stand here. We need to do something. Look, the guards have moved away from the stairs. We should follow Walter, find out what Logan's going to do. Let's go while we can. They must be in the war room. Then let's get there before anyone sees us. Quick! You can see them! Think about what you're doing, Logan. I'm protecting the interests of the people. Do not question me again. You will shoot to kill. Start with the ringleaders, and if necessary, continue with the crowd. This is wrong. You can't do this. Oh! <gasps> Never tell me what I can't do. Walter! We can't let him kill all those people. You're his sister. Maybe he'll listen to you. We have to do something. What are you doing here? The war room is no place for a child. Leave now. I'm here to stop you. You can't kill those people. No, wait. Enough! How dare you turn against me? Perhaps you believe you should be the one making these decisions. You really wish to defend those traitors. Then so be it. Let us see how you do. Take my sister and her friend to the throne room. We shall settle this matter officially. Move! I'm going. What? Ah! Leave him alone. I'm all right. I'm all right. Don't worry. Whatever happens, we'll get through this together. Keep walking. Here come the saviors of the people. Come closer, sister. Today you have disappointed me beyond measure. I have been betrayed by my own blood and a filthy spine. We did nothing wrong. Punishment must be apportioned where it belongs. Punish me, then. You are no longer a child, and it is time I stopped treating you as one. You wish to save the traitors who had gathered outside the castle this morning very well. You shall have your chance to save them. Here stand the leaders of the violent mob. I will give you a choice. Who will be punished? These strangers or this boy? The sentence will be what? death. No, this can't be. You are the princess. Decide. Your Majesty, Logan, please. I am giving you power over life and death. No, I won't do this. If you can't choose, I will. They will all be executed. So tell me, what are you willing to sacrifice to do the right thing? This is madness. We can't. We just can't. Choose me. 
You can't let them all die. Choose me. There's only one decision you can make. It has to be me. Are you listening to me? Pick me. Thank you. Thank you. It's all right. You did what you had to do. Never forget what he's done and that I love you. Take the boy away. Kill him now. I will never forgive you for this. Good. Then you will never forget it. Escort my sister to her chambers. Now. You mustn't blame yourself, madam. I don't think any of us realized just how far he'd fallen into madness. I have to do something. I can't just stay here. You're not. We leave the castle tonight. This kingdom needs nothing less than a revolution. It needs a new leader. It needs a hero. It's time to see if you're ready. Ready for what? To be your mother's daughter. Very good. I will pack some essentials. There's no time. We take nothing. Not even... Pajamas? Come on. We must leave now. Don't worry, madam. I shall follow you wherever fate may take us. I should have done something in the throne room. I should have stopped him. All you would have accomplished would have been your own death. Still, maybe I should have taken you away sooner. There is something rather... Sinister about this garden at night. Where are we going? I thought we were leaving the castle. We are. But there's something we must do first. It's time we paid our respects to Albion's last hero. I never thought I'd enter this place again. You should have known better. The night your mother died, I promised her I would bring you here one day. When you were old enough, and strong enough. This is your history. This is your legacy. The world has been too long without a hero. But I'm hoping that it will have one soon. This is your mother's most treasured possession, the Guild Seal. It chooses those who have the power inside them, those who have the potential to become legends. Take it. Is something supposed to happen? Who are you? I am Teresa, the seer of the spire. I guided your mother in her greatest triumph. But you have an even greater destiny ahead of you. The seal awoke at your touch, as it would at no one else's. This means the fate of Albion rests on your shoulders. Before you lies the path you were born to take, and at its end is the kingdom you were born to rule. Like all heroes, you will face many trials, but you cannot pass through these gates alone. You will need to gather followers and gain the support of the people. For now, you have the support of two friends, Jasper 
who will serve you always, and Sir Walter Beck, who will be your greatest ally. Together you have already taken the first step in your journey. Walk through the gate and claim your reward. There is a great power inside you. You merely lack the means to unleash it. Take this. The gauntlet will channel the magic within you. Use it by the tomb in the mausoleum, and the way out of the castle will open for you. You will return here when you have gathered enough followers to reach the next gate. Now go. Walter and Jasper will follow wherever you lead, and one day, Perhaps the rest of Albion will do so too. Well? Do you... Do you feel any different? I don't know. Try casting a spell. That's supposed to be our only way of getting out of here. You might have mentioned that earlier. And spoil the surprise. <laughs> Confined spaces, did you, Sir Walter? I never did care for being poked in the eye or having my head chopped off. One of it. Ah, now this is more like it. Grand, spacious, a plentiful supply of oxygen. Just the way a castle's escape route should be. What is our plan, other than leaving the castle far behind us, which I hope you approve of? It's simple. We have to stop Logan. How am I supposed to do that? Even if I am a hero, I'm just one person. Exactly. That is why we need to find allies. And lots of them. Once you prove what you are, people will follow you. And many of them will be willing to fight. Bats, take cover! Well, young hero, this is your chance to show us what you've got. Did you see that, Jasper? Did you see it? Indeed. Your mother would have been proud, madam. Well, I know I am. Come on. And I'm proud of you too, old friend. I've never seen a man cower with such grace. It is merely a matter of hygiene. Bats are filthy creatures. <laughs> anyway, I think we've just seen the first proof of what you can do. You are the hero who can lead this land in a revolution. Bats are just the beginning. Impressive display. 
to think. This morning my job consisted of laying out clothes for royalty. Now I'm a midnight snack for bats. You might want to cover your noses from here on. It's the Bowerstone sewers. Oh, you might want to cover your eyes too, Jasper. More bats! I expect to go make a few more bats. I certainly got the hang of that spell. Shall we proceed? Ugh, what an unusual stench. I dare say we must be somewhere beneath Powerstone Industrial. Very likely. Not the safest place for us right now. But we should be able to find a way out of the city once we reach the surface. It what is that? I'm pretty sure it's a Cullis Gate. Sort of magical transportation system for heroes. I was under the impression the Cullis Gates were all gone. Well, it looks like there's one left, at least. Your mother must have placed this one here in case she ever needed to use it. It's the same scene that I saw by the tomb. I suppose it's activated in the same way. What is this place? You know, it must be. It is. It's your mother's sanctuary. She used to speak of it, but I never thought it was a real place. Well, I don't believe it. Jasper, this book. There's a note with your name on it. Look. That's not possible. For Jasper? Well, I grant you it is possible, but it must be a coincidence. Oh, don't be a dote. The old queen must have left it here for you. What's it called? The Book of Heroes. How extraordinary. Does it tell us how to get out? This really is most remarkable. Everything that we could possibly want to know about heroes and this place is right here in these pages. This map functions as a traveling mechanism. Simply choose where you want to go and, well, it should take you there. Marvelous. Right. We can use that. We'll have plenty of time to explore this place later. Right now, we have a rather large task ahead of us. But I don't even know where to start. Our first stop will be the mountains of Mispeak. There are people there who would make great allies. They won't offer their allegiance easily. But they despise Logan. And if anyone can persuade them, it's a hero. Very good. I will continue to become acquainted with this sanctuary. No doubt we will need to make full use of its facilities. Right, all right then. Find Miss Peak on the map and let's see if that book's telling us the truth. Now, that looks like the dweller camp in Mist Peak, just there. Select that as your destination, and you should be taken there. Just like that. It worked! Oh, I'd forgotten how bloody cold it is up here. Come on. The people here call themselves dwellers. They're tough. They're loyal. And like I told you earlier, they hate Logan's guts. Yep. It may not look like much, but this is where the revolution begins. This is what Logan has reduced them to. He's taken control She's of these really mountains good, and started destroying its forests. I can't be. ...time finding food, but I had no idea it was this bad. The man we need to convince is Sabine, a proud old sod, but a good man and a good leader. He won't give his allegiance easily, especially to a princess. Perhaps it's best if I speak to him alone first. You know, maybe you ought to find some new clothes while I talk to Sabine. Something slightly less regal.
We don't need this kind of attention. I only have a little bit of gold, but it should be enough. And maybe you can spread what's left among the people. They need it more than we do. Where can I find clothes? Oh, don't worry. You'll find someone willing to take that money off you. Now, wish me good luck. We don't need much. Just enough to survive. You've come from the city, from Bowerstone, haven't you? You must have some food. We'll all starve to death if things don't change. Sabine, better sort this out. I can't sleep at night. I'm so I'd go up to the castle right now and kill Logan if I had to sleep. <sighs> If we don't get some food soon, it's all over. Sabine, better sort this out, or we'll all be gone as soon. <sighs> Still open, everybody? I don't have any food, but plenty of other things. Hello. So good to have you. Oh, good. Good. Hello, madam. This is Jasper. Uh, hello? Is, is this is this how you use uh, I am speaking to you through the guild seal what an extraordinary device it would seem that as long as you carry the seal we can communicate freely not only that but you may return to the sanctuary any time you deem it necessary might I suggest you do so now and try on your new outfit Ah, hello. Now, included in the sanctuary is a dressing room. Step through, and I'll show you. I've taken the liberty of laying out your clothes on these mannequins, which should serve as convenient storage for any garments you acquired during your travels. Now, why don't you change into your new dweller outfit? You don't need to do anything apart from just put on the Dweller outfit. The Dweller outfit is there, ready for you. So, if you would just don the Dweller outfit, we can proceed. There you are. You look just like a dweller. I hope this new outfit is as comfortable as your royal attire, though I suspect the chances of that are quite low. Now that you are properly attired, you should return to Sir Walter. It is time to meet this Sabine that we've heard so much about. I haven't eaten for days. We'll all be gone as soon. We'll all starve to death. I feel so weak. I'd go up to the castle right now and kill Logan. So being better sort this out. A reliable way to gather a few followers is by simply interacting with people. Try it. I'm oh, sure you'll make an impression. Yeah. You're all right. You are. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations! Oh, 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 Getting out among oh, the people has seen see. off. Remember that interacting with the citizens of Albion is generally a reliable way to gain followers. That Logan, I'll ring his neck. All right. That's more like it. 
The scruffy look suits you. I've spoken to Sabine, explained everything, and he's, well... <laughs> I told you he'd take some convincing. Come on. Out of the way, Boulder. I can't see a thing. So royalty walks into our home. A princess, no less. You're a long mile from the castle, princess. What do you think of our home, then? Do you like what your brother has done to us? These mountains have always been ours. Now Logan's taken them, and he's stripping them of all life. Oh, we're ready to go to war. But why should we follow Logan's kin? You can trust me. You have my word. <laughs> We don't take much stock in words round these parts. We're simple folk. Ain't that right, Boulder? Huh? Then what do you want? Proof. First, prove you are truly, as Walter claims, a hero. This is easily done. There is a secret chamber beneath the town of Brightwall built by your own mother. Only heroes can survive its trials and reach the relics within. Bring me one of these ancient objects and I will believe you. Second, prove you are a warrior worthy of leading us into battle. You can do this by slaying the mercenaries who plague Mist Peak Valley and who have long soured our existence. Third, prove you are a true leader. Persuade our neighbors in Brightwall to share what food they have with us. Balder. Oh. If we cannot eat, we will die, and the dead make poor allies. Is that all? Yep, that's the lot. Off you go, then. Good luck. Nice knowing you. Hey, come on, boy. It's nice to see Sabine hasn't mellowed with age. But anyway, I know the place he mentioned. Your mother built the chamber under the Brightwall Academy, Albion's greatest seat of learning. At least it was, until Logan closed it down. Just show the old librarian your guild seal. He'll know what Please, it means. I'll try to find out more about these mercenaries. I'll see you in Brightwall when I have some information. Hunt, thanks to the king. What are we going to do? Hmm. It makes a nice change doing something useful.
I see you're approaching Brightwall, a most charming little hamlet. And a perfect opportunity to acquaint yourself with the fine, honest people of this kingdom, far from the bustle of the city and the factory smoke. Of course, a less charitable mind would turn them simpletons, but I encourage you to shop in their stores, drink in their taverns, and otherwise partake in their small town pleasures. Off somewhere exciting, then? The library is closed by order of the king. We don't serve drinks, we don't sell chicken feed. Please leave before the soldiers suspect you of gaining any real knowledge. <coughs> oh, sweet papyrus! A real visitor! I, I'm afraid I was speaking the truth. King Logan has closed the academy. I'm little more than a custodian these days. By the holy walkmark, the guild seal. I haven't seen it since the old hero queen last came here. Uh, then you are... The princess, yes. Oh, my. Uh, please, come this way. Your mother told me that one day a challenger bearing the seal would come seeking entrance to the reliquary, but I never imagined it would happen in my lifetime. It was she who founded the Academy, of course. I have often wondered how she would react to see it in its present state. Here we are. I can't tell you how many of our researchers and professors have studied this door, hoping to unlock its mechanism. But I knew there was only one thing that would ever open it. Ah, hello, Jasper here again. I believe that amazing device is what is known as a flit switch. However, on the subject of amazing things, you will not believe what I have just found in the sanctuary. You should come back as soon as you possibly can. This sanctuary contains an armory, within which there are some truly remarkable weapons, heroic weapons, which your mother left for you. This way, please. Now, admittedly, these weapons don't appear particularly impressive, yet. However, according to the book, they actually change as you use them, becoming more deadly and developing fantastic properties. They are living weapons, and the way in which you fight with them determines how they evolve. Apparently, as you use it, the blade actually becomes longer and sharper. Imagine. That sword is certain to cut a swathe through your foes, and depending on whom you kill and how, it will grow ever more powerful. Well, now that you have a proper weapon, you should return to the chambers underneath Brightwall Academy.
Ah, yes, the flit switch. Now, the way you activate these is by hitting them. Your new weapon should serve that purpose ably. These new gloves would look supremely handsome, gripping the hilt of a finely polished sword. Which reminds me, where have I left the sword polish? You know, what would go perfectly with those gloves is a riding crop or a... Hmm, generals use them to point to...
So, this is how it ends. I steal the blueprints for the dungeon from the architect who built it. Find the secret entrance on the other side of Miss Peak. Almost get killed by several hollow men. Stub my toe against a rock so that it really hurts when I walk. And now this. I know there's a great treasure in here somewhere. And I know it has something to do with these braziers. I just don't know what. But I'm not leaving until I solve this riddle. Ah, hello. Yes, you'll recall that I mentioned that flit switches require a knock from a melee weapon. Well, it seems that was only partially correct. According to the book, only blue switches require melee weapons. The red variety requires magic, and to activate yellow switches, you must shoot them with a firearm. Ah, so the weapons in question were also left for you by your mother. Like the sword and hammer, these astonishing weapons evolve over time as you use them, becoming ever more fearsome. They can cause more damage and achieve other incredible effects. The pistol. Excellent choice. You are in an enclosed space at the moment, after all. I'll keep the rifle here in case you change your mind. In the meantime, experiment and see what incredible properties are waiting to be unlocked.
He seems particularly cheerful today, I think. Congratulations, hero. Touching the guild seal was an indication of what you could become. Reaching the music box has proven what you already are. No one but a hero could have done it. You have begun to learn what powers you possess, and there is still greater potential within you. But you have only taken the first step in your journey. Albion is crying out for a revolution, and for someone to lead it. Winning supporters to your cause will be hard. Leading them against Logan will be an even greater challenge, but it's one you must accomplish. I'll make him pay for what he did. This is not a matter of personal vengeance. As long as your brother sits on the throne, Albion is in great danger. Open the music box. It will show you the truth. This is my Albion. Its cities will bow to my law, or they will burn. Its mountains will bend to my will, or they will fall. This is my Albion. Its people will do as I say, or they will die. Its future will be as I decree, or it will end. I've seen what must be done and nothing will stand in my way. We will be greater, and we will be stronger, no matter what sacrifices we must make. This is my Albion, and I will see it destroyed before I surrender it. If any part of you still doubted the necessity of a revolution, you have your answer. The kingdom will face its own annihilation under your brother's rule. Now, do whatever you must to gain your first ally, for you cannot lead a rebellion without followers. Sabine is a good man, and his people are strong.
<laughs> Blessed index cards. You made it. This is cause for great rejoicing. Albion has a hero again. If ever I can be of assistance, I will be honored to serve you. I knew you would succeed, madam. You now have proof positive of your heroic status. And I believe Walter has made some progress with the mercenary problem. He is waiting for you outside the local tavern. <laughs> we'll be going bankrupt if things don't pick up. And so will the rest of this area. Come on, people! You know Have you want to spend. I've got. Oh, you have not the seen anything otherwise. like it. If business doesn't pick up soon, I'll be right out of it. A uh, business, I mean. <laughs> I don't like you. You were successful then. Bloody marvellous. You'll be glad to know I have some information on the mercenaries Sabine mentioned. They're led by a man called Saker. He used to be a soldier, but always had more in common with bandits and cutthroats than the military. His men are holed up in a small fortress in the mountains, so it won't be easy to get in. But I have a plan. So come here and... Come with me. Shop here. You can't go wrong. One of the mercenaries. A cold-blooded killer. His name's Clarence, but everybody calls him Jimmy. He was drinking in the pub all day and generally making life unpleasant for everyone. It wasn't hard to get him completely pickled, these young thugs. Bloody lightweight, if you ask me. Anyway, take his clothes and you'll have a free pass into their camp. Just try not to think about what those stains might be. Careford? Hmm. You're not likely to convince anyone without a bit of extra effort. Even these idiots will notice if you don't have his beard or tattoos. I'm sure you can get hold of what you need around town, though. In the meantime, I'll find out who to talk to about getting food to the dwellers. They might not have much to spare here, but they're kind people. They'll just need a little convincing. Anyway, good luck dealing with Saker and his mercenaries. It'll be your first taste of real battle. But I know you'll do just fine. I'll buy anything. Well, almost anything. If you find we're out of stock on anything, try again a few days later. There's a pawnbroker in town. I've never sold anything there myself, but it's good to know about in case you need cash fast. We have some new things in stock you might like.
Oh, we've got all sorts we have. For my birthday, I want a doll that wears shoes and rides a horse. A library is a place with lots of lots of I need money to get drunk. Isn't honesty worth something? <laughs> Smells delicious. Everything you could possibly need and much more. Lovely work. I sell bright walls best. Come have a look. You're sure to find something. Lovely work. Oh, do be careful. Good pie. I have a gem in my pocket. Mmm, sublime. Good pie. That's some tasty work. Oh, prices are quite good. Well, you stay in business if they... I love your technique. You appear to have earned enough gold to purchase the rather repulsive items you require to complete your mercenary disguise. A most impressive feat for a member of the royal family. Of course, should you have acquired a taste for labor, you may continue working for as long as you wish. My customers have been good to me, so I'm good to them. What is it you need? You're paying top gold for... You have a new facial hairstyle. Not the usual sort. The item. Do you have you should to be have so just ugly. what you need. Yeah, it may be. You've got a new tattoo design available if you're feeling under-adorned. People do love a nice tattoo. Well, some people, anyway. I suppose some would have to just buy a door of averages. It's worth it's really every cool. ounce of gold. A lovely look, that is.
right, Jimmy. Back from killing some dwellers. Come on in. You've been up to much lately? No. Nah, me neither. I sometimes wish I'd join me dad with a family business. Don't be shy, Jimmy. Come on over. Hey, Jimmy, over here. Roll over, you stupid mutt. Don't get too close. Damn thing's probably got Jimmy, rabies or something. Over here, mate. What are we gonna call him? How about Gilbert? Don't be shy, After that fella Jimmy. what stiffed us on over. last job. He'll make it more fun to kill. Doesn't Wolf feel like he's All right, Jim, how's things? You've been drinking in Brightwall again? And don't let anybody tell you, drinking alone is wrong. That's some of the best times I've had. Anyway, in you go then, mate. Jimmy? That really you? You look different somehow. Ah, Your eyes always that colour. Nah, Jimmy's got periwinkle eyes like a beautiful summer morning sky. That's not him! It's not Jimmy! Ooh, that shot looks nasty! Kick him off me! It's just a dog! I've never been shot before! What's it feel like, mate? And another one gets through. Right, that must have hurt. I should know. I've shot me. Keep your heads down, boys. The scumbag's shooting at us. If you could paint a target on your ass, that'd make it easier for us. I hear you've got some fancy moves, but you'll need more than two steps to get past me. Almost got that woman! She's nearly dead! This girl's a right finish with that gun. Stinking hound! Kill the damn thing! Oi! Stop standing around collecting bullets and kill her! That dog should be... Jimmy was my mate! Die! You're a hero now, but soon you'll be just another carcass rotting in the sun. Somebody get that dog! Looks like she might have something good on her. This better be worth it. There's something shooting at us.
balls. This ain't looking good. Gonna be one of Jimmy and person I die. Ah, he's on the other side. Well, dance on your bones. Leave her! She's mine! You've left quite a trail of bodies. You're not one of Sabine's dwellers, that's for damn sure. But you'll die like one. most of your time wandering around opening chests and stuff. Everyone who dares to scream.
Interesting tattoo. You compensate for some. to smash your face! You'll make a mistake soon, and then we'll have you. Ha! <laughs> Nobody beats Saka! You've won. This battle is yours. Kill me or let me live. It's your choice. And my men will honor it. We may be nothing but mercenaries, but we have our codes, like any other soldiers. We'll leave the dwellers be, no matter what you do. That is a warrior's promise. Thank you. I won't forget this. Let the stranger go! You have taken another step on the road to rule. Sparing Saker has won over the support of his followers. Word is already spreading of your compassion and your strength. It is a momentous occasion, madam. Your first victory in battle. I'm no expert on personal combat, but I would say, based on the fact that you're not dead, you acquitted yourself rather well. It's hard to believe that just a few days ago I was rousing you from a comfortable bed. It would seem that you have completed two of the tasks that Sabine set for you. If you return to Brightwall, you will find Sir Walter has some news on how to fulfill the last requirement.
Sir Walter is still waiting for you in the Brightwall Tavern. He seems to have become rather attached to the place. Ah, yes, the special ingredient of our famous silver hen ale. Uh, I find it very... Honestly, who comes up with these names? This place was a garrison town. There's something off about you. What is it? A little something new has appeared in the sanctuary shop. Care to have a look? You have some new pieces of clothing. Ah, yes, I remember that look. Ah, <laughs> ah, here she is. We were just talking about you. Indeed. We have made a toast to your stupendous feat in ridding Mistpeak of Saker and his men. They have been a source of great distress for some time. Nobody will be more pleased than Sabine. His dwellers might find some peace now. Of course. Nobody has suffered more than they. I've been telling Samuel here about the terrible situation they're in. He thinks he may be able to help. Uh, yes, well, uh, perhaps. I, I mean, of course. Uh, the thing is, as I was just explaining to Sir Walter, Brightwall has no overabundance of resources itself. The King's levies are rather steep, and we face shortages more often than is comfortable. But? But were you to improve things around Brightwall, uh, the people would be most grateful. And when people are grateful, they're also charitable. I'm sure they would find it in their hearts to send aid to those poor people. There you have it. The way I see it. You will need all the followers you can get if you're going to lead a successful rebellion. What better time to start? I heartily agree with Sir Walter. Pardon me for overhearing. As it happens, I've learned of a promising method for amassing followers. If you're returned to the sanctuary at your earliest convenience, I can show you what I mean. Ah, now, the book says there is an additional rather amazing capability about the sanctuary's map table. It can help you find people who are in need of a hero. An excellent way to gain followers is by helping villagers in need. Take a closer look at Brightwall and I will explain more. You can now see the villagers in need. You can also see how many followers you must amass to impress Samuel and the people of Brightwall. Select a villager to help. By doing so, you will gain the respect and loyalty of others in the region. Choose whom you wish to assist. Doing so will gain you followers. Oh, pinch, you foul, vile fiend! It is tragedy that this fair city demands we must feed. You, dear lady, you who live in such a tumultuous epoch. 
Do you not thirst for the drama and emotion of a properly structured tragic play? Of course you don't. You want to escape your troubles. You want to be made merry. You want to be amused. It is no good. We shall never agree. Ah, if only we could get our hands on Morley's lost play. It would solve all our problems. Yes, it is said to bring together the opposites of tragedy and comedy in an exquisite marriage of forms. But perhaps you can find it. Yes, we beg you, the theatre, the muses, the very heart and soul of this town will thank you. Splendid, splendid. You should know we did commission an elderly detective to search the library for clues as to the place whereabouts, but he never returned. Turn back now, mortal one. Stay away. From this only the death place. and insanity await you. Don't pick it up. No, really, I'm serious. You lot just can't leave well enough alone, can you? Bloody literary tourists, bane of my afterlife. Listen, you, you're not getting my lost plate, you hear? It's rubbish. Worse than rubbish. I mean, what was I thinking mixing tragedy and comedy? I must have been off my rocker. It would seem, my dear madam, you have been apprehended by the ghost of Philip Morley. That makes us both his captives. I am Ransom Locke. If the name seems familiar, it is because I was once a detective of some renown. And yet, here I am, ready to live out the rest of my days, trapped in a book. As far as I can deduce, we are currently in a scene from one of Morley's greatest romantic plays, the near tragedy of Oliver and Ethel. I believe if we are to escape, we must act out the scene. But performing is not one of my talents. If I am correct, putting on this costume should set things in motion. Oh, Ethel, my love, my life, my son, if thou wouldst but give me one sign, one gesture that would speak of your affections, then might I think this grey existence worth living. Ah, uh, yes, a classic moment in the play. You are Ethel, the beautiful young daughter of a dung merchant. Show Oliver that you love him, and we may be able to leave this scene. My heart is yours, my love. Let the heavens and the seas, the toads and the eels sing the song in my heart, for she doth love me, and all is well. We shall meet again in the morrow, my little ferret, and elope into the sunset to live out our days in wondrous joy. A magnificent rendition. Truly, I applaud you. Hmm. I see you are 
gifted with remarkable literary cunning, but can you really comprehend the depths of my work? That we shall see. Ah, yes. This is undoubtedly a scene from one of Morley's earlier, funnier plays, Bloodbath at the Royal Court. And this must be your costume. The role of the fool is one filled with tragic depth. It will require a masterful performance. What fresh insolence is this? Out of my throne, you impertinent buffoon! Stand before your king, and do your jester's duty! Tis a troublesome time for this court, and my crown grows heavy. So make me laugh, or I shall have your head. Coochie coochie coo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop! It's too funny! I believe I'm in the right mood now to meet with those foreign delegates. I think I shall only behead half of them. Yes. I have never seen a more convincing fool. There is hope for us yet. Hmm, you handle my royal dramas as well as you handle my romances. But will your versatility extend to the more subtle domains of theatre, I wonder? Oh dear. Unless I'm mistaken, this is a scene from Morley's notoriously violent historical epic, Titus the Mutilator, Part 2. Which would mean this is the gladiatorial arena from Act 5 where Titus is finally slaughtered by savage warriors seeking revenge. A favorite scene of mine as a child, I must admit. And here is famous costume. I had some pajamas that looked just like it. Put it on and you will take on the greatest role of your life. Titus, thy pox-membered body shall pay for thy monstrous villainy. My son lies dead because of you. Now shall revenge be mine. Cold is your corpse and all the more flavorsome for it. Do try to make your demise convincing. Looks like she might have something good on her. This better be worth it. Watch out! She's a good shot! More of my kin lie slain, and yet you live! You have breathed your last sulfur-scented breath, Titus! Look out! Ooh, look at her bleed! Ooh, now that must have hurt! I bet you wish you hadn't started this fight now, don't you? Titus has fallen! Vengeance is mine at last! But what is yonder scar upon his cheek? No, it cannot be. He was my son! Oh, woe and wretched misery! I am undone. My heart breaks with grief. 
It has beat its last. Adieu, unkind world. Adieu. A tremendous performance. For a moment, I believed you truly had passed on. I wonder what scene will follow now. Oh, what scene could possibly follow such a masterful rendition of my work? You have brought such depth of meaning to my words, I stand in awe. You have earned the prize no mortal has ever been honored with before. My missing play. I entrust it to you, for I know that you will do it justice. I call it the Ham Sandwich. A metaphorical title, of course. Ah, you have retrieved our aged investigator. Happy day! Have you what by chance said, found... Lambert. Oh, the joy in my bosom knows no bounds! Thank you a million times! Thank you! <laughs> he said bosom! It's already working! Comedy and tragedy will at last join hands! Hark! Bear witness to the tragic futility that is man. Oh, how it doth sear my senses to see paradise and yet to be barred. That reminds me of a great joke. A guard, a monk and a chicken walk into a bar. Unfortunately, the bartender had had a mild heart attack that morning, so none of them get served. And yet what purpose doth heartache serve when the infinite dark blanket that is death Fall softly upon our still beating corpse. That reminds me of another one. A corpse walks into a bar and says, Can I have a lemonade? Certainly, replies the bartender. I've never seen a stiff drink. And so endeth our happy sad play, which reminds us we are made of nothing but clay. There's time only for our fool to say... Great big giant bosoms! What the hell was that? Biggest load of old tosh I ever saw. It didn't even make sense. Worst play ever. What can I do for you then? I'm beginning to understand why Philip Morley never published this particular piece of work in his lifetime. Indeed, it is too far ahead of its time. Perchance one day a civilization will rise with the broadness of brain to truly appreciate it. If you ask me, it was the tragic elements that let it down. One cannot argue with the comedy. Oh, a pox on you, pinch! I have no doubt that the people of Brightwall will end up full. This is terrible. Somehow the gate got open, and all of my chickens have escaped. I don't know how they did it, those chickens. And maybe I never will. Chickens are extraordinarily clever. Will you find the buggers for me? Right, you'll need this. Contrary to what most people think, chicken... You have several new suits. Those will make dressing easy. I can see why you would want to save that. Your 
you're dressed as a chicken. What are you? What are you? What are you planning to do, dressed as a chicken? Chickens are very, very crafty. They won't fall for any of that. Come here, chicky, chicky. I've got some lovely treats for you. Oh no, too smart. You have to defeat them psychologically. No. They won't remain one concentrated force. They'll have redeployed into groups of three or so to maximize their tactical advantage. When you find one of these squads, flap your wings and such, and they should follow you back here. But don't let them try to negotiate with you. <laughs> you do not want those little buggers inside your head, believe me. You sure you're up to this? Many of that. That's lovely. Just keep doing what you're doing. And no matter what, don't show them any fear. Well done. Their reign of terror is over before it began. All right, see if you can find some more. Let me clothe you. You won't regret it. You're sure to find something special for that someone special.
That's all of them. At last, the town can rest easy. Oh, Bernard, you've got to lock them up again. This isn't right. They deserve to be free. You're always on about the chickens and their freedom. You know what I think? I think it was you let them out. You're right. I admit it. I couldn't live with myself any longer being complicit in this chicken oppression. But they might have destroyed the entire town. Possibly the world. They might have gone off to live peacefully on their own. They might have created great works of art or... All right. We'll let them live. But only if you swear never to let them out again. All right. All right. We'll work this out. I hope I haven't made a terrible mistake. But if I killed them, I would just make them martyrs. Well done. You have gathered quite an impressive following in Brightwall. This should be more than Ooh, enough to convince this little don't know about to send this. aid it's to the dwellers. Best, Bernard. I believe it's Samuel the right thing at the to town do. gates to I express wish I that very sentiment. I really do. Now we just have to figure out a compromise. Up. There are new items available in the Sanctuary Shop. That appears to be all of the gifts. I hope everything is in order. I always thought that one was quite exceptional. Haven't I compromised enough? We need to figure out a way the chickens can get the most out of their lives while still making you feel safe. I can give you a whole new look. Everyone says Esteemed citizens of Brightwall, today we demonstrate the generous nature of our fair town. For too long have our mountain neighbors suffered in silence, and now we extend a helping hand. But this effort would not have been possible without the courage and determination of one woman, the daughter of the old hero queen. From this day, we shall know you as the Hero of Brightwall. Before you leave, we ask of you one favor. As we pledge ourselves to you, so we hope that you will pledge to return Brightwall to its former glory and reopen the academy which your mother founded. I will. Very, very good, very good. I expected nothing less from you. These volunteers shall carry the supplies to the dweller camp. They may have them with our blessing. I hope you will return one day. Not just as our hero, but as our queen. should spend your money here. If you spend lots then of I gold, can have it. I can use it to buy more supplies. So come on.
Upon that wall, you'll find the contracts representing the promises that you've made to the people of Albion. Your contract with Samuel is there, for example. You have done a wonderful thing for those poor people in the mountains. They will be overjoyed. Did we say it was a fight to the de- If you give up and beg for mercy, we might just let you live. But then again, probably not. I'm not... Our hero returns, bringing good tidings <laughs> and supper. <laughs> Damn thing doesn't open. How do you open? Oh well, I never thought you'd actually get it. Tell you the truth, Boulder. We've been blessed, my friends. We have made an alliance that has already brought us life. One day. It will bring us much more. We require but one more offering before we fight at your side. Ah, Border. Promise to restore these mountains to their full glory and to protect our right to dwell in them. And promise you will bring nothing but the fiercest justice upon Logan's head. I promise. Then may we be carried into the castle. 
by the dark storms of fury! You'll have to wait a little longer for that. It's still just us against a whole army. We need to recruit more people. Mm, I was afraid you'd come over all logical and sensible. Well, you have brought us a feast, and we are free to hunt again. We'll just keep on eating and drinking till you're good and ready. Right, Border? Yeah. <laughs> he, he couldn't be happier. You have made an important ally today. The revolution cannot hope to succeed without fighters such as Sabine and his people on your side. You have the beginnings of an army now. I couldn't be prouder of what you've accomplished here, but there is still much for us to do, and I know just where to find our next allies. I'll meet you at the station in Mystic when you're ready. The revolution is just getting started. My sister's birthday's coming up, and she just loves I have some gold, and they I must want sell to shop. somewhere close by. You're in I luck. just now, but I'm a great shot. Oh, wait there.